Well, we don't know with any certainty that Mr Papandreou is about to resign, but certainly the end is looking more and more likely uh, to be very close for him indeed. A cabinet session that he called an emergency cabinet meeting has just uh, got underway a short while ago, three hours or so late. It's not going to be a happy session. He certainly isn't going to find a good deal of support and unity uh, among his cabinet ministers. One, a very senior one, the finance minister and deputy prime minister, uh, has already indicated that he is not in favour of the referendum. Others may choose to follow. Indeed, more widely than cabinet, a number of his social Socialist MPs have broken ranks in the past day or two, uh, saying they won't support it. Indeed, not. He no longer has enough support to be certain of uh, winning a confidence vote in Parliament on Friday night. Now, among those dissenting voices, there are loud calls for him to step aside in favour of a temporary national unity government with the opposition, uh, which would immediately pass the new bailout terms for Greece through Parliament, uh, with general elections to be scheduled at some point in the future. Uh, and along uh, those lines, the opposition leader in the last hour or so has appeared on national television saying he would go along with a national unity, a transitional national unity government on those terms. Now, in addition to all of this, we're hearing uh, in the local media, on television, that the Prime Minister plans after this Cabinet meeting to visit the President, either perhaps to call for a national unity government to be formed or, as is widely being speculated, to resign. Um, big picture here, Jonah. This referendum um, is introducing the European debt crisis to a critical phase in which it is now being spoken out loud that... Um